Do you guys like going down on girls? If so, why? Yes women can have multiple orgasms and it is not about just focusing on the sweet spot. You have to also lick and suck the areas around. Kiss her where her legs meets her labia and slowly work your way out her inner thigh and then back. Kiss and lick every inch of her in that area and you will know it is working. She will wriggle, make noises and thirst herself towards your face. Don't be in a hurry spend some time down there and if you are lucky she will squirt for you. I even will cut my hands under her buttocks like I am eating the watermelon at an eating contest. I love it for two reasons, in no special order. 1. Her pleasure. When I'm with a lady, I want us both to have a wonderful time. 2. My pleasure. Seeing her happy makes me happy. And when the smell of pussy hits my olfactory system, something ancient awakens in my brain, and I am aroused like nobody's business. Millions of years of evolutionary biology are telling me this is the meaning of life, right here in front of your nose. Ladies, be advised, some of us men actually like the smell that you work hard to wash away. Please don't. Yeah. I do. It feels so engaging. I'm not looking down at it from a distance, but I'm right up, eyes, mouth, lips, cheeks, all over it. Which is also why I'm one of those guys who likes to look and kiss all up and down the girl I'm with excluding a few spots. The closer my face, eyes and mouth is, the more engaged I feel. And I like to be as engaged as possible again, minus a few areas. Plus, the pleasure it gives to the girl I'm with makes me feel good for giving her more pleasure too. Personally it's a turn off and it can make it challenging for me to climax during sex so it just kind of ruins the experience if I spend 5 minutes going down and then 45 minutes going at it until I'm just like, I need water and walk away from everything. The amount a partner enjoys sex becomes a diminishing return after about 30 minutes. Fortunately, my girlfriend isn't into it either, she would rather jump on top and take it for a ride, and so everything is fun for both of us. Tastes great, less filling. I like making my partner feel good, and I happen to be really good at it. Also, I'm ADHD, and it's such a demanding activity that it's something I can really hyperfocus on enter a flow state while performing. And again, it's sexy as hell. Don't wanna come yet? Eat pussy. Wanna get extra rock hard? Eat pussy. Wanna send my partner into a new plane of consciousness and or guarantee a second date? Eat pussy. Just plain like it for its own sake? Eat pussy. Not so much with one night stands. I don't expect one nighters to go down on me either. With regular hookups or GF wife, absolutely. I've heard women say they like giving oral because of the control over the pleasure their partner is receiving. I feel the same way I guess. Feeling, seeing and hearing her enjoy herself is satisfying for me as well. Most women enjoy different things as well. Like a challenge each time. When she sits on your face and comes, filling up your mouth and she's hydrated. OMFG. It's so great. The fact that she came. The fact that she's hydrated and it doesn't taste bad. Her sitting on my face in general. Her feeling good. The simple pleasure of having that ability counteracts any insecurities that I might have at that moment hoping it gives her one more reason on top of the others to be with me. My ego. I would attach myself to you like a lamprey eel and would have to be surgically removed that or I would explode like an overly filled water balloon. That is how much I enjoy that. As far as why I could be wrong but I have yet to meet a woman who did not enjoy that. I'm sure there are some who don't particularly enjoy it for various reasons. But I think that is only because it is not being done correctly. Watching her squirm, begging for more. Exploring her body and all that it holds. Seeing how many times will she come until she is begging for you to stop. The taste, the teasing, the sensations of feeling her grasping into your fingers as her see. And is your mouth and flicking in with your tongue. Melting her so anything you want she will be eager to give just to experience that again. I love it. I love going down with my girlfriend. I haven't been with that many girls at all. But I make her orgasm every time I go down on her which is the greatest feeling for me. Her clay gets highly sensitive after I make her come once, but I randomly found I could make her squirt from the two if I use my fingers in the right way while licking her clay. I'm fine with it. I love it actually. I mean it really only matters if she is okay with it of course, but there's something intoxicating with being right there in the business end of things. There's always a sense of accomplishment from performing a successful service. Plus the sense of touch with the tongue is way better than my fingers or other parts. I eat more pussy than cervical cancer. Nothing better than a pair of feet toe curling into your shoulders. When she grabs the pillow and yells fuck into it for the second time and she begs you to fuck her. Best part of sex emo. 
I want my partner to enjoy herself and always want to come back for more. If you sew it right she might even make you breakfast. Sir Glenn, it's my favorite thing. Intimate, warm, soft, all kinds of noises from me and the lady, fast, slow, quickie or two hours later, it's all good. And drum roll please, at least for me, it smells and tastes great. And I can watch you enjoy yourself with no pressure because there's no right or wrong way to drive my partner into ecstasy. Um yes it's one time we can make the moon, squirm, chin sub, legs shake, and twitch jump when they finish. Then they are also ready to be entered right after that because they are more sensitive. That's why I like for her to give me my party favors before she gets hers cause when I start on her I'm not stopping until we both are satisfied. Yes. Given a choice I'd rather eat a woman than receive oral sex. If personal hygiene is good, it's great. I love the reactions, and getting her to orgasm that way is fun. Also vulvas are different and that's interesting. This mode is very helpful to those of us who are older, too, both men and women. But it's great at any age. I love it, and as she gets turned on and blood flow is rushing to her vagina and her clit is getting hard and everything is getting very very wet. It drives me wild turning me on. Plus I can't get into the mood if I think she is not in the mood. But if she has poor hygiene, it is a huge turn off. But I think that goes both ways. Most of the time, yes. It's most pleasurable when your partner has a scent that you find attractive. I've known a couple of women who had this sweet musky aroma that really drove me crazy. I gladly got that stank all over my face. Your mom uses this spray that makes it taste like bananas, which is also cool. I like bananas. It depends on the woman. I dated a woman last year who smelled like she didn't wipe. When I got back with my soulmate I went right back to going down on her and it felt like home. My former wife didn't really care for it so when I had the chance with my soulmate I went for literally almost an hour. I miss it. Absolutely. It's my most enjoyable thing outside of bareback orgasms. It's just so enjoyable, man shrugging. Like, everything from tasting her to feeling how soft her skin is on her and her thighs and the area around down there, to seeing the pleasure she goes through climaxing. It's actually the best feeling around on all levels. I didn't at first but then my ex was really excited for me to because I have a lip ring that I always flicked with my tongue she thought I did it because I was into it. After that I really enjoy doing it, it became a turn on for me. It's a level of intimacy that triggers something pleasurable in my brain. I wish people would stop asking questions like this. Do guys like? Or do girls like? The answer is always the same. Some do, some don't. Everyone is different. Not everybody likes the same stuff just because they're the same gender. That being said, I absolutely love going down on my girlfriend. It depends on the guy, and our reasons vary. I love it, and for many reasons. Chief among them being that I enjoy giving pleasure, I enjoy finding every way I can to make her react to me, and I love extending sex as much as possible and nothing does quite so well to keep the intensity up as giving oral. Before my current relationship, I've been happy to do it for women who enjoy it. My wife doesn't care for it, so I haven't gone down on a woman for a number of years. I don't especially miss it, but if my wife were to tell me she'd like to give it another shot, I'd be fine with doing so. I was always pretty indifferent about it, like I do it but it wasn't necessarily all that enjoyable. Then I finally met the right girl, and now I fucking love it. Sometimes I even ask her just kinda randomly if I can do it. I love making her feel beautiful and appreciated. Cause she is. It depends on the condition of the downstairs area. If it is clearly well maintained and hygienic looking, absolutely I would go down there. But if there is a lot of cottage cheese being stored down there, some questionable growth on the wall, or a musty smell. By Felicia. I absolutely love it. I want my wife to feel good and just be able to focus on herself feeling good without feeling the need to reciprocate. But she hates how my beard smells afterwards so we only do it at the end of the night and she makes me go wash before we can cuddle. When she's clean and shaved it's the best thing ever. Sometimes I'd rather do that than penetrative sex. For starters it makes her real happy, so that makes me real happy. Secondly it's got a nice taste to it. And lastly I get pussy in my face, so what can be bad about that? Uh, yes. Find someone you can genuinely trust to let yourself go and the feeling of wanting to get her off on it is so immense, can't even explain. Couple that with them being receptive and knowing how to validate that gets you wanting to just go for as long as you can to. Not eating pussy is straight up nasty. Come in that snatch one day, let it marinate up in that vag for a day or two then you'll eat that puss up with fermented jimmies dripping down from above. 
Nama's style is just get sucked off and don't even give her dick in return. Making her feel good makes me feel good. Especially when she starts to squirm, and I put her legs on my shoulders and grab her thighs like a fucking jetpack and just lock myself in. I turn into bone saw like you're going nowhere, I got you for 3 minutes. I personally love to do it. Almost every relationship I've been in they've said I was the first or only to do it. Disappointing to hear how many guys are anti the action. Every dude wants to get head, but thinks going down is gross. Weirdest to me. I love doing it but as I've gotten older especially if you've never been with a girl I always make sure I do a smell test by putting my hand down there. Once you go down there and don't test there's no going back you either have to commit to the cause. I have like going down on my F partner. I don't care, hairless, hairy, and munching. The feeling of her hands in my hair, holding me closer. The moans. The legs shaking next to me. Sure, it tastes like vagina but for the payoff. Of course I'm in. For future reference, note that almost every answer on here is an enthusiastic yes. With a few A, I don't really, but I like to make her happy thrown in. If you're wondering about a specific guy, odds are pretty good he likes it too. I mean I love to go down on my partner, it's where I have the most control and ability to make sure she has a good time. Can also go for a few rounds in a row until she's left squirming from anticipation as her soul is licked out of her body. Personally, not a fan. I've only done it to my first sex and, yeah, that was before I even had facial hair. I think I dislike it even more now. And to be fair, I don't expect or ask for the equivalent in turn though it's usually offered.